Hi guys, welcome to my channel Science for All by PK. Today we are going to talk about MIMO, multi-user MIMO and massive MIMO. These are very important topics as latest technology is concerned. These are very important for Wi-Fi technology as well as cellular technologies. So let's talk about MIMO. MIMO is multi-input, multi-output technology. So today we will discuss about MIMO multiplexing, MIMO diversity and then MIMO beamforming and then we will talk about multifunctional MIMO, MIMO rank and condition number. So let's start. MIMO has multiple input and multiple output that means it uses multi antenna technology where we have multiple antennas at the transmitter and at the receiver. Say for example, let's talk about 4 cross 4 MIMO. That means we have 4 antennas at the transmitter and 4 antennas at the receiver. These transmitting antennas can be on BTS which is base transmission station or AP access point. Access point is used in Wi-Fi technology and BTS is or base station is in cellular technology. While these receive antenna can be on a handset or any receive device. Say for example laptop, mobile phones or any other device. Now how to use it? MIMO can be used in different ways. One of them is multiplexing, another one is diversity. When we say diversity that increase reliability of the data. And when we say multiplexing that increase the throughput. Let's talk about MIMO multiplexing. So here we have four antennas at transmitter and four antennas at receiver. Now all these antennas are transmitting different streams. Different streams means different data. Say for example I have kept here 1001 1101 0010. It is just for example just to show that every antenna is transmitting different data. That means we are able to transmit lot of data simultaneously and that is increasing throughput. But there was one question. See this antenna is receiving signal from all the four antennas. I have not shown from here because it will become complicated. So but I have shown for two antennas. Signal of this antenna is received by all the four antennas. Similarly signal of this antenna is received by all, uh, all the four antennas and so on. Now question is the, all this signal will be mixed up and how we will take out the information and that is where our computing comes in picture. We have high end digital signal processing. With digital signal processing it is possible to get the data and increase throughput. Now let's look into MIMO diversity. MIMO diversity is where we transmit same data from all the antennas. That means we are sending same data from different different antennas. That means that different paths are followed. So what MIMO is doing? MIMO is taking advantage of multipath. If signal from this antenna is not received properly, then there are high chances then signal from this antenna is received or signal of this antenna or this one is received. So that means our reliability has gone high. But our data rate is not increasing compared to single input, single output system because still we are transmitting same data. 4x4 MIMO was introduced in Wi-Fi 4 and LTE release 8. While 8 cross 8 MIMO was introduced in Wi-Fi 5 and LTE release 10. Now let's talk about MIMO beamforming. Beamforming is efficient when number of antennas are more. So that means when we have 8 cross 8 MIMO then it is more efficient because beam can be formed efficiently. Now suppose we have these eight antennas and I have different devices. So I can form a beam with high gain which can go at longer distance that means my coverage is high in this particular direction. When I do that my efficiency goes up, spectral efficiency goes up and this beam forming 
can have only one stream or it can have multiple streams. Now that is where multifunctional MIMO comes in picture. That means in multifunction MIMO we combine these different technologies say for example beam forming with multiple stream that is MIMO multiplexing or out of these four antennas we can use it as a two cross two MIMO that means two antenna will transmit same signal and then set of two will be giving multiplexing so this is called multi-function MIMO now what is rank rank is number of streams which are transmitted over the channel that means here we can have rank up to four it can be rank one two three four last one is condition number or CN number condition number is measured in DB this gives us the information about channel condition how good is channel condition where we can use special multiplexing now for ideal channel condition number is 0 db but that is not practically possible any number which is less than 10 is considered good but if it is going more than 15 or 20 then channel condition is not good for special multiplexing now let's talk about mu mimo or mu mimo that is multi user multi input multi output technology as name suggests it is a multi user technology so if we have multiple antennas at the transmitter and we have only one device at receiving end then this technology is not effective or it will give same benefit as if it is not there or normal MIMO. This is an extension of MIMO technology and this gives advantage when we have multiple users. Suppose I have a multi barrel gun. If I have four barrels and four targets and I fire with all the barrels towards one towards one target and then to next target and to then next to tar next target and then next target then it is a standard MIMO technology but if I use different barrels to fire towards different targets in that case I need not to wait to hit the another target that means I am shooting at multiple targets same time and that means my latency is low so none of the device is waiting and this is very useful for the applications like video streaming or live conferences video calls and this so and we have multiple devices connected to the network in that case none of the device will feel the lag and if we are having only one device at the receive end, it doesn't show much advantage because we are still have one target to fire. Because we are using full efficiency of the system. If it is only one target, then probably it doesn't need that much bandwidth. In this case, my resources are utilized efficiently and I get high throughput. Now, here, say if I have eight antennas a transmitter I can address up to eight devices same time now let's talk about massive MIMO as name suggests there is something massive let's see what is massive here now in a standard base station or BTS antenna we have a column like this where we have radiating element this cross indicate it is a plus minus 45 degree polarization that means I have 10 radiating element with two polarization so effectively I have 20 radiators if I am talking about MIMO in that case I will be repeating these columns say if I am going I am repeating it four times then I have 10 into 2 into 4 that means effectively 80 radiators that is MIMO but when I talk about massive MIMO then I am not talking about 
smaller numbers i am talking about huge number of radiators or antennas say for example 10 elements by 20 elements that means total 200 antennas or more in this case what is happening is each of the element will have its own transmitter and receiver that means each antenna can be controlled separately and we can form multiple beams so this is a ultimate technology or if i say the progress of mimo it is single input single output multiple input single output multiple input multiple output multiple user mimo then ultimate is massive mimo it has advantage of everything we can create high gain beam towards different users and massive mimo is extension of mimo as we discussed it has excessive number of antennas i am talking about hundreds of antennas and spectral efficiency in mimo is very high and similarly energy efficiency is also very high i am going to explain that what is the relation or how we achieve it throughput is also very high because we have very high gain directional beam towards each users reliability because our gain is high coverage is good reliability is high and because of large number of radiators we are serving large number of users now let's look into network throughput network throughput depends upon available spectrum cell density and spectral efficiency spectral efficiency is given in bits per second per hertz smaller the cell higher the network throughput the reason for that is better utilization of frequency spectrum or frequency reuse is of higher order some of the research paper shows that energy saving in massive mimo is inversely proportional to the number of antennas this is for perfect channel but if we look for more practical scenario in that case energy efficiency is inversely proportional to the square root of number of antennas that means if we are looking for a gain of factor of 10 in energy efficiency then number of antennas should be increased by a factor of 100 now let's look into famous shannon's capacity theorem this formula gives us spectral efficiency say for example if we are looking for 4 bits per second per hertz in that case this number should be 16 that means this factor should be 15 and if we want to increase spectral efficiency to 8 bits per second per hertz that means increase by a factor of 2 in that case this number should be 256 or this factor should be 255 and the ratio of 255 to 15 is 17 that means the receive signal power should be increased by a factor of 17 while that is not the case for massive MIMO. Here we can see that massive MIMO gives us higher spectral efficiency. I will prepare another video to have a detailed analysis of spectral efficiency of massive MIMO systems. I hope you are liking my videos and learning from them. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press bell and like button. Thank you for watching.